Hello, 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 all my beautiful, amazing, fantastic machine heads. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome back to another episode, month number two in year one of the Volcanic Island, our Volcanic Chickens. Dun, 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 dun. How you guys doing today? We got some seeding today. We're going to plant some sorghum in the field here. And then we are going to go and bring some products up. Now, I got some good news and I got some bad news. We did upgrade equipment. Not upgrade. We went the same amount of horsepower and everything. But I did change things a little bit. So we do have a loan. We have... Uh, where are we? Where are we? Money, 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 money. We have a $90,000 loan because I'll show you when I get down there what we're changing. So anyways, let's get going. Oh, I don't need to turn that on. Let's get sowing some, oops, yeah, sorghum. Okay, we're ready to go. Just wanted to make sure it said sorghum. So how you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing great. I hope you guys are doing awesome. And you guys know I hope you're doing fantastic. Welcome in, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome in. So I hope you guys make yourself a sandwich. I hope you guys make yourself a cup of tea, a soda, a sandwich, anything. Just enjoy. Sit down and relax and have some fun. It's going to be great. Um, so we changed from the manure uh, to making, still making manure, but now making solid fertilizer. Um, but we have some strict rules with that. We are not allowed to sell it. We are not allowed to. It is only strictly for our field. And that's it. That's all it's used for. So we're going to make it sparingly. We also upgraded our wagon. We did upgrade our wagon from a pull-behind wagon to a truck. So between the fertilizer factory and the truck... Uh, it cost me ninety thousand dollars, so we're we're in debt now, unfortunately. But now, when we make trips back up here to the farm for our fertilizer and things like that, we now will have a truck that holds forty-two thousand and a little bit faster. Um, now, the reason I went with this tractor now, my brother and I have used this tractor many, 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 many times on St. Cali. It is one of my all-time favorites. It's the exact same horsepower as the uh, TW35, so that's not an issue. What the issue was is only going 19 miles an hour. Is that realistic? Yes, 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 yes. But when you're going anywhere on a farm, um, you can go. We did find out some things with precision that it goes by the kind of, kind of ground you have. So as you can see, we have loam, and we can get 125% bonus, and that's the max that we can have. Same thing is over here. We have 123% and 122%. So that's pretty good. Then this field over here, field number three of ours is, I do believe, loam as well. So we will get, uh, let's see, loam, yes. So this will be 125. So all three of these fields will be 125 and they'll be 125 permanently because that's the max you can get. Um, so it does not matter what you plant on precision. It matters what kind of ground you have. So that's exciting. I did find that out. So sweet. Too sweet to be sour. Oh, my gosh. You guys remember that? You guys remember my original, one of my original? Let's see if I can remember it. Welcome to the Tower of Power Hour where we're too sweet to be sour. We're funky like monkeys, and space is the place. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I actually got that from a... When my kids were growing up, they were huge wrestling fans. That was from a wrestler that recently just passed away, um, Superstar Billy Graham. That was his original saying, and then a macho man, Randy Savage, took it over. So, yeah. That's why I... Used to say it for homage to my kids who love wrestling. Who used to love wrestling. They've all grown up now. It was something when they were younger that they used to watch. And uh, I used to say it at the beginning of my videos. So, yeah, baby. So, yeah, my fam my uh, heart goes out to the family of superstar Billy, Billy Graham. He had a lot of health issues at the end of his life. Um, 
you know, and that sort of thing. But that's okay. It's okay. We all get old. Uh, and we keep moving. We keep on moving. So, now, let me explain what we've got going on here on the farm. Now, every field will be planted on a different month. So, you guys know that I have turned seasons off, correct? And the only reason I did that is I wanted to be able to plant when I wanted to be able to plant. Is that realistic? Uh, absolutely not. So, because sorghum is more of a summer crop, you know, late, early spring, or late spring to early summer. So we, well, actually, before I do anything else, you guys know how it works. Going to lose the game sounds, but you won't lose me. And yes, we are. We've been going for five minutes. That's awesome. That is awesome. I'm loving it, loving it, loving it. Um, so it's more like from what I've researched, I've never grown it in real life. I've never dealt with it in real life. But from what I've researched, it is more of a um, summer crop. So I wanted to be able to plant it in the spring you know fall and uh things like that so we turn seasons off but we're going to still maintain our full level of precision we're going to still maintain our full level of doing things um as far as the way we need them uh and that's it you know so now i'm to the point where i cannot upgrade my equipment until my loan is paid off uh and i have to pay ninety thousand dollars off so uh we make about two hundred to two hundred and fifty dollars an hour for the rocks or not the rocks um the rock powder because our factory makes rocks and rock powder so we're um that's okay i mean that's pretty cool but i've got enough to buy more seeds if i need it in fact i think i bought two pallets of seeds uh and then eventually um because right now all of our crops are going to the chickens um, I have 500 and something eggs, but I'm not going to sell them till the pallet is full. Um, and I have the larger pallet capacity. So, uh, instead of a thousand or 1200 per pallet, it's going to be 7,500 per pallet. So I did that because of the amount of chickens that we have. And so now when I do a pallet, it'll be 7,500. So we're only going to be able to fit two pallets in our, uh, trailer at a time because that only holds 16,000 so we're gonna have to try to find a trailer that's much bigger because I can guarantee it that um when we get 25,000 chickens we're gonna be making eggs like crazy enough to make some omelets so I don't know why I just did that but that's okay normally you would pick your cedar up too so, like I said, we're um, it's more of a series that is more of like, let's see where we can go. Now, I promised you guys that I would fill you guys in. So, here's the goal for this, uh, this epic Let's Play. I am not coming off of this map, okay? Ready for this, everyone? Until A, I own every field. B, I'm in debt. And when I own every field, I must harvest it at least once. But here's the killer. Okay. I want to have 100,000 chickens. Absolutely not even close to realistic. But I want to see if I can get it. Now, that was something that my brother Gutterball and I have talked about. And I was like, hey, I've never done just chickens. But if I'm going to do just chickens... I want to see if I can get it like some astronomical, ridiculous amount of chickens. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep pushing myself. We started with one pen. Each one of those pens hold tw holds 25,000. I can fit four pens in there with ease. I've done it. I can actually fit about six in there, but we're going to go 100. And then I want to see if this tiny little map can actually support 100,000 chickens um, because I may have to make my own fields in fact i think it will because some of the pioneer sections down at the lower part of it are pretty decent size and i think i can make some you know 20 or 30 acre fields so we are going to have some bigger equipment but what i like about this is there's very strict rules with the money um i did take out the loan and i told you guys on episode one that we can take out a loan that's not a restriction we can take out a loan um but once we take out a loan to set what we need to set we cannot upgrade our equipment so we're stuck with the cedar until the ninety thousand is paid off we're stuck with the the um uh, 
the lime spreader and everything else that we have. We're stuck with that until ever er, afterwards when we get our loan. Now, when we get our loan paid off, okay, which $90,000 is not a lot compared to like what my brother and I have had on, on St. Cali, but it's enough for, for a tiny little map. There. Now, let's see. Can we get 122? Well, 122. That's not bad. I'll take it. I'll take it. So I'm going to now use a solid fertilizer, and it's going to be on auto. So everything will be just I'll auto lime it, and then I'll auto seed it with fertilizer. And remember, I had already fertilized that with manure. So now the first two fields, now in October, we will plant this. And the reason why is so that once we harvest, every field would be done the following month. We'll have a harvest to do every month. And I wanted to do that on purpose because the chickens are going to take a lot of food. All right, so let's get this here and shut him down. We also changed our lime spreader. This is our lime spreader. I haven't used this in forever, so I figured, well, we'll try to use it. Pretty cool. Um, I don't know if, yeah, yeah. It's a little bit different than the one we have on St. Cali. Also, this is our truck. This is our Scania mining truck. This holds 42,000. So now we're going to go. Look at how nice this is. Turn signals work. There we go. Let's see. Turn signals work. Look at that. You can actually see in the rear view mirrors. So you can actually drive in cab if you want. Look at the gas or the gauges work and everything. We're gonna come out here like this. And this is considered, I guess what it said was a rollback, I guess, normally. But now this thing will haul Heine. And it will head on down to the uh, manure. We'll transfer the manure over to our factory. Um, and then we will transfer our lime up to the farm. And then after that, we're gonna load up some stone and take it back over to the factory just so we can keep moving. Um, and that will keep giving us an hourly wage. Um, and then we're going to come down here and harvest. So that's what we're going to do. We got two more fields of sorghum to harvest because I started with six. Well, we have three. I started with six fields and I wanted it to rotation. So the um, it comes due. By the time we get done with the last one, the first one will be ready again. We can just keep adding fields at that point in time, and we're ready to go. So, this is the factory that I added right here, okay? And this just takes manure and makes regular fertilizer, and now we'll convert this over. This holds, like I said, 42,000, so that will be epic. Then once this makes the fertilizer, we have to take it up. We cannot bring any more straw down here until that fertilizer is gone. So we're not going to abuse this. This will not be a money-making scheme. That's what I promised my brother. This will not be... Um, let's see what our manure is. Oh, I have a lot of manure. So we're not going to have to make fertilizer for a very, very long time. Um, so what I'm going to do now is start selling the straw off the fields. Okay, so when we make straw now, I'm going to just sell it. Point blank. This also, this truck has what's called a loose tailgate on it. So it will work for firewood. So we'll be able to put firewood right in here and it'll dump right into our... Um, let's double check this. What do we got for... Fendures or... See... We only have 22,000 fertilizer, so this will be great. Well, let's go get the rest of our manure. And then, like I said, we I could just keep dumping this in, dumping this in, dumping this in. But it wouldn't make us any money at that point. So um, what we're going to use is I'm going to check the lime. Put this up here. We want to get all of this out of here. And then we cannot make any more till that fertilizer is gone completely that's the rule so that because like i said a few minutes ago i promised my brother that i'm not going to make money like that i want to make money legit so 
We're also, when we do our firewood, we're going to do one tree at a time. We're going to dump the one tree in there, and when it makes it, then we're going to stack it off to the side when we get 16. Well, I don't know how big the pallets will be with the extended pallets on it. I think there's still 1,000 because I don't think it affects them. But when we get 16,000 worth, 16 pallets, we'll then sell it, and that's it. So that way we can literally just... We're going to make money legit. We're going to end up making money hand over fist. Um, I don't even have to do any more rocks. I think I've got enough lime to use up first. Because here's here's what the fun part is with this these mods I'm using. The manure factory, many of you know, many of you have used it before. For ever, It's times three. So whatever I dump in here, if I dump 42,000 straw, it'll make me 120,000 liters of... Um, manure so it's an awesome way to use manure on your fields without having to uh, have a bunch of animals this should be it this should be the last load okay how much is in here Still 15,000. So I just took 40, 80, 120. It was only supposed to be 99 in here. Oh, because when I took the first 42, there was still 99 left. Okay. So. And then this should, this will be a lot of fertilizer because it's one, uh, 120,000 will make us 60,000 liters. So we're not going to need fertilizer for a while, but like I said, it will, it will chip away at it. So that's exciting. And then I've got 50,000 liters of straw as a backup, but I think I'm going to sell that outright. We're going to go up and sell it outright because we'll have plenty of fertilizer for a while. And then I can sell that. It don't, it don't make much, but... And then how much lime do I have? Let's see. I got 44,000 lime. I probably should... Uh, yeah, I, I think... We can we can do this. We can. I think that's enough to put it on to... Uh, we got one, two, and three fields down here. I think that 44,000 should be just about enough. Then we'll come get stones. But the nice thing about this tipper is it holds two full buckets of the um, the stones. So that's good. Instead of just bringing over half a load, you're bringing over two full loads, which means you're bringing over four, almost 40. Well, you're bringing over 42,000. <laughs> All right, so now let's take her back up to the farm. Everything's good. We got the manure cleaned out, right? Boom, that's done. Uh, we got, we'll have, a, let's see, 130 is about 75, and then we'll have 100,000 liters by the time we're done. And now we're going to come down here with a harvester, and we're going to start harvesting this first field here. But before we do that, let's sell the straw we have on the farm. We make a little bit more money, and then we'll come down, bring the harvester down here, and we'll start harvesting our fields, and then we'll sell it. And then what I'll do is once we get to our 9 o'clock in the morning, uh, we'll save it, and then I'll play for the rest of the day off camera. But what I'm going to do is make sure that everything that I sell will be sold off camera, um, or I mean on camera so you guys can see it. Uh, I will definitely make sure that the eggs are on sale, are sold on camera, uh, and that's that's what I promised you guys that. So I can farm, I can do all that stuff to move it ahead. So when you guys come back every Friday, this will be a new month. It's one one episode per game day, per game month. So that's that'll be exciting and cool. So every episode, so after twelve episodes, we'll be through a full year, which will be absolutely awesome. But we can't do nothing to the loans paid off until we have our 100,000 chickens. Because remember, they're times 6 or 12. 
and they're next month after this month we will have we will go from 100 to i do believe either 600 or 1200 we'll, we'll we're learning together that's the cool thing oh i gotta sell straw whoops sorry guys almost forgot i went off the rails there so this is an awesome map great off the grid map uh new map so it's exciting there's been a lot of converts a lot of converts converts or however you say it from um other map other areas like that neverland map that was an fs 17 19 and now 22 but i don't fault the map makers that's say they're, they're continuing to bring their uh they're continuing to bring their maps to the new iteration. Gosh, my brain froze. Okay, so we're going to go. Let me show you guys, too, what we're going to do. This is why I think I think we're going to be okay. Because if you look at, like, right behind here, these fields are really decent size. If I put one giant field of sorghum there, whew, and then all of this around here, we could just, I think, we, I think it's flat. Well, let's dump this, and then we'll take a trip over there to those fields to see. And then I'll show you what we got going on. And then we're going to go head on down with the harvest. Still a little early out in the day. We want to make sure the, the crops are dry anyways. But very simplistic series. Very easy series. No crazy. Uh, nothing crazy like goals like $10 million in debt or all the, anything like that. We're only 90000 in debt, which... Uh, we'll make a little bit from the straw here and off the harvest. <laughs> oh, plus 10 environmental score. That makes me happy. Did that? Wait a minute. How come that didn't sell all of it? Does it only fit so much in there? There. And we know now off of all of our fields, we're going to get, um, should get positive numbers and stay positive numbers, which reminds me what is our environmental score is 54. How much? Oh, I already bought them. Okay, good. So I bought them there. See, and then if you guys look, look, look at. Uh, my dog's having problems again. His poor hips bother him. Uh, this whole thing could be made a giant field. This whole thing, once this is done, this is going to be our quarry. But all of this stuff here can be, com we can combine these into some bigger fields if we want. Right now, we'll keep everything small, but then eventually, like one, two, and three, or one and two will be one field, three will be two, and then this will be three. Look at, then we start getting some decent fields. So, and then 47 is absolutely, we'll, we'll take a run over there. Yeah, let's do that. So we're going to have a, a, myriad, a myriad of different size fields, but eventually we're going to have big ones. So like these little fields here will still be uh, sown into different crops, but they'll be with the big equipment. It'll be boom. Like all those forestry trees can be taken out. All these can. We can make a field. We can kind of terraform it and make it into a field. We can take these trees out and make a field along here. But see what I mean, though? Look. These are decent size fields. Really bad. Let me bring up the map so you guys can see. This 40 is pretty good. I mean, look at it. I have crop destruction turned off, so you guys know. And then we come down here, and we get into the Pioneer section, and we can come right along this road here and combine this, all this, with all this, and go right to here. Actually, we can go right around the corner. Go right in here. Look at this. This field will be absolutely huge. And that's why I believe it, it will hold that many chickens. So, and then we can, I'll show you. We'll go right around here. Then I got to get down there and get harvested. 
But many of you guys didn't even see this part of the map before. So it's kind of cool to uh, let's get out here so you guys can see a little bit better. See, we can come right down here. And we'll have to terraform this a little bit because it is the base of a... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. People climbing the mountain. I can get up here, right? <laughs> I think I can. <laughs> In the famous words of Gutterball, do it. Oh, wait, no. Get it. Get it. But there's people up here walking the mountain. How cool is that? Hmm. They're like a little path to walk on. Because there's an observatory up here. That you guys didn't get a chance to see last time. Nice. Huh. We could technically put a, like a house up here and live next to the observatory. Hi. Nice. Can you go in it? That would have been awesome. Observator de Vulcan. Nice. So you guys didn't get a chance to see that. That's pretty cool. All right. Let's head back down. What a view. There's people that walk up this mountain. They're nuts because not me. I don't even think I'd want to drive up it. This is pretty darn steep if you ask me. See, we can terraform the outside of this, all this, and make it as kind of at least workable. I know I can. And then if you look, let me bring back up the map. But look at this, this is field 47 here. All this can be added to field 47. So we can drive right across the crop. Look at this. This is going to be decent, decent, decent. Like you're going to get probably a couple hundred. Well, nah, I wouldn't say that much. You'd probably get about, um, how big is this? 22 acres, 23 acres, 117,000 liters. Now, you're going to get that uh, twice on sorghum. So you'll probably get, like I said, almost 300,000 liters just off this. And then we can come through here and clean all this out. If you look. Boom, right to the road. So field 47.4, and then we can clean this out here, and we can make all kinds of big fields. All right, so let's go back down and grab our harvester. Yeah, those two can be combined. These You can make some really, really decent fields. Woo-hoo. That's a good-sized field. That We've already seen that one. So... The fields on our farm are small right now, but there's going to be some big ones. And then as we when we get down there with the with the combine, I will well, we got to take this down. That's quite the jump too. Just be careful everyone, there is some decent size like jumps and stuff, so I wouldn't go crazy to go like I mean you can. Look, and then you come through here, this can all be cleared. Off right there, and that could be added to that field. There is a lot, a lot of fun terraforming and adding of fields. And if you look at it, we'll come around the corner here. That field that's next to me, this field here, that field, that field, all these fields can be combined um, and go from there. It's going to be absolutely epic. All right, we're going to start with this one first here. Let me get out of the way right here. Shebang. So all of these literally in this middle section can all be combined into one field. You can actually take those trees out and make this one huge field. So we may do that. We may not. We will decide it, but we are going to get bigger. Um... We are going to get bigger f equipment. 
So, let's get this off here. Get her down here. Get her harvested. We got one hour in game. Got about 30 minutes left, everybody. So I wanted to give you guys a like a plan that we are working towards because we're going to have a lot of chickens to support. So we are going to need some decent sized fields. But we can also, like if it's a 22 acre field, we can cut that into sections of 10. Because I think 10 acres is just about right for me. Because um, otherwise we're harvesting it for like two or three days. So like I might... this one here 1.91 1 like 2 point 2.53 acres and then 1.191 so that would be about five acres there just with those two fields we can combine those two these two and start making like five to seven acre fields and so you're not going absolutely crazy with ginormous my brother loves it when i say that ginormous fields but you're still five six seven acre fields is plenty to start getting some decent yield you, know, you get like 35 40 thousand oh wow well. watch this i I've, I've driven this map a lot but you guys haven't seen it so look up here another placeable section here but all three of these fields with this could be added together. Around, you take the forest route, and you can make this one big field up here, too. So, it'd be great. It'd be awesome. I think it'd be great. All right. Now, from here on out, um, the only time we're going to need straw is uh, when we um, need fertilizer, which we're not going to need it right away. Right here we go. There we go, there we go, there we go. So we seeded one field, we planted sorghum in one. I took you on a tour. Uh, we moved our manure over. We've gotten a lot done already. It's great. But all of these trees could technically go right into the um, firewood processor one at a time and you just take one over drop it when it's done you grab come grab another one and you just kind of chip away at it like i said i'm not going anywhere on this map until i absolutely get my goals so it's going to be a while so like i said pack a sandwich because we're going to be here a while now this is already getting a good good yield And the reason I can tell is the straw swath because Gutterball and I figured it out the, uh, a couple episodes ago on St. Cali uh, that if you're not getting a good yield when it's um, the straw swath is small. Let's back this up a little bit. Let's see what we are getting here. Um, only 89%. And this will, when it jumps up, it'll be about 99, 109 about 2019 30 it'd be a little over 32 or 33 percent more than we're getting now so we'll figure it out because once i get everything like really all i want to do is i don't care if they're big fields when we're done like when we've got 15 meter equipment and we can have multiple harvesters that are you know 13 14 meters wide um, I only want six total fields. That's what I want. So that I can harvest one. Then the following day, harvest the other. And so on and so forth. That way after... Well, I want four to six fields. After they're all done, then I want to. we can start right back into harvesting. Because we're going to need to feed those chickens. So what do you guys got going on on your farms? What do you guys got going on? We love to hear it. We love to hear it. If you get a chance, uh, if you're in a good spot monetarily, please feel free to join the Fear Machine Gaming immediate family. It's 99 cents a month. We'll help the channel a great deal. 
Um, we've got a lot of things in the work, but a little tight on money right now, so we're waiting on um, if I can get a better deal on some stuff, which is exciting. Um, I'll start making some videos. But I stopped. I, was, I had a couple of members-only videos, but I stopped because when it we dropped all the way down to just a few of you, which is absolutely great. It's, it's nice. I mean, I'm not complaining at all, and I'm not going to. Um, so... And for those of you that are new, welcome in, welcome in. Uh, for those of you who are new, I don't call you guys subscribers. I call you family members. Um, and I do that because we on here are a family fun channel, a family friendly channel. You can bring your grandkids, you can bring your kids, you can bring your moms and dads. And you know that we're not going to curse, we're not going to swear, we're not going to talk politics. We are going to talk farming. We are going to talk Fury's life. We are going to uh, enjoy each other's company and that's it i don't care what side of the fence you fall on i don't care what affiliation you are i don't care i don't care what color you are you're all welcome but we all check our attitudes at the door we all check our negativity at the door and that's only rules i have um because i want you guys to just feel comfortable i want everybody to feel comfortable um and that's it you know so that's what we do here. And then it's nice because you can w let your children and your grandkids, if, you, if you're if you a little older, watch it and know that Fury and Gutterball aren't going to be up here cursing up a storm. And we're not going to be up here giving our political opinions. And we're not going to do that. We all have that in our personal life. We don't need it in Farm Sim. And that's it. That's the awesome part. I have learned so much from my brother Gutterball. It is amazing. Uh, so we also don't bring negativity in. Uh, been there, done that rode that train and we ain't riding it no more um fury has absolutely no time for negativity so i'm not going to bring it to the channel and i'm not going to bring it to you guys so that is what is amazing that is what's awesome but you guys can see how quickly an hour goes anymore oh my gosh it's like we only got about 40 minutes in game which is literally 20 minutes it just goes crazy oh man it has been so warm lately. We got our... Hang on one second. We finally got our soybeans planted. In real life, it's it's super dry here. So we were concerned about how dry it is, but we got them done. And we got... What else we've been doing? A lot of uh, meetings and a lot of stuff with co-ops and things. You know, guys know how it is. Many of you guys that watch the channel are real farmers as well. You know how things work. Everything's adjusted for price. Everything's got it. You got meeting after meeting after meeting. You got to figure out what you're doing. You're in. The, you're doing what you got to do. And I don't even do it full time. <laughs> I'm just doing it part time to help out. Uh, I, I was a farmer, real life farmer for 30 years. And when my dad passed away, we all stopped doing it. So pretty cool. Now, if we end up on this field with 10,000 liters okay 30% of that would be uh, let's stop him there now we'll start going around here we'll pick up the header um 10% would be 100 more I thought a 10% of a 10,000 is a thousand so if we get 10,000 liters and we get 30 35% more we should get about 13 14,000 just off this field and you get it twice so let me explain something to you guys a little bit how why gutterball and i and pretty much me decided that if you're going to have chickens we're going to do you do all sorghum fields because a wheat field in a game takes six months to grow no yeah no it takes eight six or eight months whatever no it's eight months the reason why i know that is because sorghum grows in four months so you get two harvests of sorghum for the price of one so you're not waiting forever and if and if you do all your precision farming stuff and you do all your stuff anyways you get about the same amount of yield if not double um yield so you end up you end up doubling up which is nice i don't know if i'm gonna get 10 percent or not or a thousand but i'm gonna try here and it's a little bit left but that'd be great to have, you know, instead of 10,000, you end up with like 15, 13, 14, 15,000 on this 
just this little tiny field, which is decent size. I know we're going to get a bunch of straw. So my little wagon only holds 23000 and I know I'm probably going to get a bunch of it. Now, when you sell it, it, it only makes you a couple thousand dollars per load. But as you can see, we started with zero, and we're at thirty-two, thirty-six. Now, like I said, when I have rocks in there, I make an additional $200 an hour. Um, in the long run, it's only $2,400 for the, for the day. But that's okay. That's okay. It's money, and we're going to do this legit, and we're going to do this the right way. Uh, we're not going to cheat in any money. We have to take the loan to get my factories because I was going to do manure, but it was a lot. And I mean a lot of running back and forth with my fertilizer. I can just keep that on the farm and, you know, get it where I need it. Take it in the trailer if I need it. And I do believe my seeding machine will hold it. So that's why. That's why we do things. I'm actually recording this quite early than I normally did. Lately, I've been starting. I've uh, been working on a... Uh, I have to... The mod that I put into Truck Sim, I have to up, uh, upgrade it to version 1.47. So, because uh, the game itself updated. Which, if I, if I had my way, I would hope that Farm Sim would just stop putting out games... And put out like DLC, like Truck Sim does now. Truck Sim is like 12, 13 years old now. But what they do is they just keep putting out DLC, you know. And I don't, I wouldn't mind buying, you know, nineteen, twenty dollar DLCs, but and let the modders take the game and go with it and keep making mods for the game. Then I would to have another game every two years. It's to me, I would rather have a game that just keeps getting getting updated. So. But that's just my opinion and my opinion only and I don't um I don't want anybody to take it to stone or anything like that it's just if I had a wish list let's just say that um let's see all right so should we do some shout outs we have not done shout outs in a while um I'm only going to do two today um and that'll be pretty much it and then we'll get you guys that have been commenting on it the next video next Friday uh, to let you guys know also that uh, how the schedule works, and this is always tentative, you guys know that. Look at that, 10,000. So we know now that 35% or whatever would be probably another 3,500. So that's 13,500 roughly, roughly. What we'd get off just this little two zero point eight four 0.84 acres. And then up here says one. Yeah, and then it says two. It's crazy. All right, shut this down. We'll do this, and then we will leave the harvester combine down here because we're going to have to do that tomorrow, next month. We can harvest them all. We just can't. We just can't plant them. This is going all right in the chickens, and then we eventually, when we start getting enough fields, then I'll put one. This holds 18,500. I'll put one load into chickens every day and then one load into the seed maker, which is right over there. We'll buy some lumogen and start making some seeds. And then when our seeds are done, our lime is done, our fertilizer is done, we won't have to do anything else as far as self-sufficient. Then we just sell eggs to grow money. And when we get enough, we'll upgrade all our equipment. And then I would, I, if I was a betting man, I would almost guarantee we're going to have way more money than we ever could imagine because eggs sell really well. Like with 2,400 chickens that uh, my brother and all, my brother and I have um, on ours, we're making anywhere between. Well, we sell it every other day, so we make almost fifty thousand dollars every other day. So it's twenty-five thousand dollars a day for 2,400 chickens. Uh, so you can imagine. Let's go right here, you can leave him right here in the field. Uh, you can imagine how much it'd be for twenty-five thousand. So, anyways, let's get a couple of shout-outs out of the way. First of all, if you get a chance to head on over and see my brother and I's videos, uh, Two Brothers Farming on Mondays and Wednesdays, uh, we are getting ready to record episode thirty-six and thirty-seven. 
Um, and we're still 37 episodes in, everybody. And we're still don't only own half the map. And our but our loan is paid off completely, so that's exciting. All right, let's take this, and then I think this has a trailer hitch on it, which I could bring the loading wagon down, but I'm not. I'm gonna do it with the tractor. <laughs> it's awesome, and I got to do this just once. Uh, yeah. <laughs> My brother loves that. Uh, okay, shout out number two. If we get a chance, uh, head on over to my good friend, Grizzly Bear Sims, and check him out. Um, it's been a few days. He's been battling some insomnia, so he hasn't recorded in the last couple of days. I think it's been about a week, week and a half. We won't bug him, but if you get a chance, head on over to his channel, like and subscribe his stuff, and tell him your boy Fury Machine Gaming sent you, and he loves the same thing. He's been a a friend of the channel and a mentor of the channel for a very, very long time. Um, and it's great to have somebody you can bounce off of. Um, but I already have that anyways. I have that with my brother. But it's nice every once in a while to talk to people and interact with people. Because I don't really interact with a lot of people. Um, and then the rest of you guys, I'm going to get to shout outs next Friday. We're going to try to pick one or two of you guys every week. Um, on mine, I'm not going to shout out anybody on, on Two Brothers because we've done that for the last three or four months and we're just going to move on from it. Nothing wrong with it, but we're going to only do shout outs on my series. Um, yeah, there. Yeah, so we're going to pick out two and then the rest of you guys, like I said, will... The guys that have been commenting, the guys that are, you know, really heavy and deep into the channel and make sure you guys are following everything and then we'll, uh, sorry, I had my first crash counter. All right, let's head down and pick up some straw and see if we can sell it. See if we can show it. Show it, show it. So what are you guys, what maps are you playing? Are you guys playing the newer ones that are dropping? Are you guys playing some older ones? Uh, me personally and Gutterball personally, we like to. This is why it takes us so long to uh, pick maps. Because we personally like to make sure it's a map, A, that not many people are playing. And B, uh, we want to make sure there's no issues in case you want to restart. Things like that. Like uh, I was watching a streamer today that was doing a f first look i think stream kind of live and there was issues with the one map the, the logging map that just dropped and like i stated before we are not in the business of creating negativity by bashing channels um and bashing people's hard work that's not what we do we don't have negativity here but what we do have is we have the ability to kind of just we can talk about it we are human but we just want to keep the negativity out so the map maker is going to need to do an update, and that's what we'll leave it at. So this is really good yield, really good yield. So this, yeah, this was only ninety percent. Imagine at one hundred twenty-five, because the straw does go by how good the, the crop is. So that's kind of cool. <laughs> about twenty-five minutes in game, which is about thirteen minutes left. Thirteen, fourteen minutes left, and we'll be. We'll get you guys on your way. I'll come and finish playing the rest of the day completely off camera. And then go from there. But I am absolutely not going to deviate from the little rules that I put on here. So that's kind of cool. You know, like the making sure that this gets paid and this gets paid and this gets done. Before we can even think about upgrading. Before we can even think about doing what we got to do. Oops. Oh, oh, come on, Fury. Drive right. As George Lopez would say, walk right. You want McDonald's? Walk right. <laughs> yeah, it's great. I'm in a good mood. It's been a long week. Tomorrow is a Thursday already. Uh, I record this as you can see. I don't know if it comes up on the recording or not, but on my screen, it's up in the left-hand corner above the tractor icon. It tells you what the actual time of day is that I'm actually recording and what the time of day is and the date. So you guys can know, as you can see, I am recording this on Wednesday evening. I will then wake up tomorrow morning and I will edit it 
um, to the proper format for YouTube, then I will put it on YouTube and upload it, and then it will get uh, it'll get dropped on YouTube on Thursday morning or Friday morning. I mean, so Friday morning this one will come out Friday when it basically at midnight when it switches over from eleven fifty nine to twelve. That's when it'll drop, and so. And like I said, Mondays, Wednesdays is Two Brothers, and Friday is Volcanic Chickens, Mount Falcor. And if I'm going to make my brother Gutterball laugh, he's probably driving down the road or sitting at a dock waiting to be loaded. Mount Farquhar. <laughs> I had him laughing hysterically on that, on our last episode. He like, he couldn't even control himself. It was absolutely great. So I don't get that much with him. Usually we're pretty serious. But man, that was awesome. I made him laugh. This one's going to be our first one. See, technically I could put that right in the manure, but then you'd have an endless cycle. But we don't want an endless cycle. Cycle. <laughs> we don't want an endless cycle to the to the manure and stuff like that. And Oh, there we go. All right, let's head this up. Bring it up here with this. So it's a little bit faster. Oh. We're going to head over and dump this in the chickions first. Chickions! <laughs> I left over a little bit bag of seed. See what kind of food they got now. Get them back in the green. Now ah, they're in the yellow. So I would assume that 100 chickens, it'll hold 100,000 because it should hold like a million liters with 100, with 25,000 chickens. At least that's what I would have made it at if I modded it. All right, about seven and a half minutes left, guys. We are going. Um, I just, I started this new thing where I kind of count down the time. Because it's kind of like I'm very forgetful, so I'll get busy. That's not where we want to go. Crash counter number one. I didn't even steal. I, I basically got that crash counter from Farmer Cop. So he's the one that actually started it. So shout out to Farmer Cop for giving us crash counter. So it's kind of cool. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> love doing that. Love doing that. So there, yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Look at all these fields of sorghum. I didn't do them that way. They were done that way. So we're taking our first 25,000, 23,000 liters of straw. We will probably get a second one. Which is, like I said, guys, it's pretty decent. All right. Now this will run this a lot faster than 24 miles an hour. So that way we can make some some bank. I just refuse as a farmer to use this on the um like the fields. The, I've seen seen people do that and it, it it's okay cuz the nice thing about it is everybody's got their own play style. That's what makes this game great. Um but I I choose to do things a little more on the realistic side. And I'm not going to use this to pick up straw on the on the field. But I I could run it, which is absolutely realistic. Which will get us up here and back faster. But yeah, I started doing the whole kind of counting the time so that I can kind of keep reminding myself in my head. Because I'll get in my own little world and I'll literally just be playing away and I'll go way past the hour. And that's not fun. Mm-hmm. 
how much should we get? Wow. Well, it's going to be four grand. Okay, now that one didn't... That one must have been really low on the, the stuff that it needed because it didn't give us any plus. I don't even know if I can get around here. So we've got about ten minutes left, about five minutes in real life. So we'll go drop this off and we'll start wrapping up our number episode number two already. Month number two already. Yeah, there's a lot of trees, too. But like I said, we'll do it one tree at a time. And that way, when we get 16, 17 trees in there... And then we'll just pull this forward. She's going to be sitting there for a little bit, so we'll shut her down. <laughs> okay. But we found out, like I said, we found out on St. Cali that don't let it fool you. It may be a small map, but I'll tell you, you can get a lot out. Like People hear when I tell them how many um, animals that we have, and they're like, oh, there's no way that map supports that. You look at this map. People are going to say, oh, this isn't going to support it. You watch. You watch. I may be wrong. And if I do, uh, if I am wrong, you guys know I'm this first time. I, I'll be the first one to admit it. But I believe the fields are going to be big enough when I'm done to support 100,000 chickens. I really do. Because they don't eat a lot anyways. For 2,400, they eat roughly about... 3,000 a day. Well, for 800, they use 3,000. Yeah. No, they use about two to three. I'd have to look on St. Cali, but right around two to 3,000 a day, they eat with um, 840 chickens. So if you times that by uh, 8, 16, 24, 36 is 8, 9, 10, about 10 times that. So they're going to use anywhere between 30 and 40,000 liters a day for 25,000 chickens. So I have to maintain 30,000 liters a day coming in um, of what they need. That's why I'm building up on it now when we only have 100 because in a month after next month, we'll have either 600 or 1,200 depending on how much they pay us. So as we wrap this up, so let us get our goodbyes done, our outros done. So that way, right at 9 o'clock, we can wrap this bad boy up. So you guys ready? You guys ready? So let's get, well, first of all, let's get some trivia out. Trivia, 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 trivia. Yeah. So trivia question number one on this map is... What is what is the very first volcano to erupt erupt in the world? What was the what was the name of the very first volcano that erupted in the world? It's going to shock you when you find out how long um, it's been going on. So that then they've been recording it. It's probably been going on a lot longer than that, but since they've been recording it, so ready. A do 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 and your final answer and go all right so please 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 look out for yourselves look out for each other and most importantly look out for each other's families be sure to like and subscribe and share 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 hit the little notification ding ding bell so you get notified when fury and gutterball drop a video 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 you guys know i do this and i do this 
Uh, be sure to enjoy the night, the day, the weekend, whenever you are watching this. And yes, I love, love, love you all. And I will wrap this up. I will finish all of this field, get it all ready and prepped. When we come back in October, we will seed our very first field up there. And then we will come down in November and do this one and December to do this one and January to do that one so that by then the first field up there will be ready to harvest. So, all right, guys, I love, love, love you all, and I will catch you all next Friday. Make sure you answer in the trivia. Make sure you're joining the Fury Machine Gaming immediate family, and I'm out. Later. <laughs>